These are the AI tools that I currently pay for every month, what they do, how much they cost, and whether they're worth it. So firstly, it's ChatGPT, of course. This is the workhorse of the operation, right? Everything I do pretty much at some point touches ChatGPT. It's a really good general tool, and it's a great place to just do quick research, brainstorming. I use it as a co-thinker. It's almost like my colleague at this point. So $20 a month is a no-brainer. Then it's Lex. Now, the last time I did a video like this, I talked about using Claude for creative writing, and long form writing but now I've switched to paying pretty much the same money $18 a month for Lex which is a tool that's built specifically for writers but it pulls in Claude through the API. They've obviously found a way to make the AI behave like a writing assistant. And for long form writing, article writing, script writing, that kind of thing, I find it really useful. Then there's Mistral's La Chat, which is the French AI company's entry into the AI chatbot market, competing with ChatGPT basically. But it just does not have the features that ChatGPT has, unfortunately. There's one thing going for it, it's really fast. It returns results very quickly and that's useful whether or not people like myself who are currently testing it out will stick with it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we'll keep paying $15 a month for that. Uh, is that speed worth it? We'll find out. Then there's Rose. Rose is a spreadsheet tool. Imagine like a really simple version of Google Sheets or Excel, but it's got two killer features. The first one is it can pull live dynamic data from your whole marketing and business stack, like website analytics, social, paid advertising, SEO, all kinds of places. Pull that into any cells in the spreadsheet, which you can then do all the normal spreadsheety stuff too. But then secondly, it's got AI baked into it, unlike Google Sheets where you need extensions. This has got AI right there. It can analyze the various numbers that you're feeding it with these dynamic sources or just stuff you've put in yourself. It's really, really good. Then there's Gamma. This creates PowerPoint presentations really quickly based on prompts. To be honest, the free version's pretty good, but I pay for it because you just get unlimited amount of slides, you get all the features, and I find it very useful when you just quickly need to put a huge amount of information like a social media report or something like that into a deck to share with someone. Then there's Midjourney, which creates, I think, still the best, most gorgeous, beautiful imagery. There's a reason why there's only one AI image generator that publish a monthly art magazine showcasing all the absolutely gorgeous things that people create with it, which is $4 a month worth it, I think. Um, and also the prompts are in there as well, so I'm always stealing them. Then there's Ideagram, which isn't quite as beautiful as Midjourney, but it's really good at putting text in images without that text being mangled. And for $8 a month, that's worth it. Although again, this might be one that I might dial down to free at some point. And then there's Letterly, which I've talked about before, which is AI dictation, basically.